YouTube. So, I don't even want to talk. I'm just gonna get into these figures. Uh, these are like all my birthday pickups. Uh, I might just talk again to them. I honestly, I ain't really in the mood to make this video. I'm so freaking tired right now. If you see me laughing, like you turn on, I'm watching a video right now. But uh, I basically got these shoes over the course of the month of October. It's November 14th now, I believe. <laughs> I'm not even gonna keep explaining myself. I work, okay? And I work a crazy amount of hours. Not to mention Christmas coming up. My daughter just got straight A's on her report card. Her birthday's three weeks after Christmas. So I'm gonna be crunching like crazy. Oh, and I also wanna mention um, I don't know when, but I am starting a new channel because this channel is just a memory thing at this point. Like, I just do this with sneakers, just for my, my own pleasure in it. But the other channel, it's going to be everything. It's going to be sneakers, my uh, organizing the gym, just regular old vlogging. I'm still considering if I would show a few of my quote-unquote friends. But, like, I just, like, I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube outside of sneakers, like, vloggings and daily life videos and stuff like that and i've seen a few that's like kind of piqued my interest to like gave me the idea to try to do this i've been was going to do this when me and my um ex first broke off our uh our engagement i had shot a lot of stuff like it was just just trying to like you know i guess you could say keep a journey of me getting back to being myself and getting happy again and i had shot all this footage i just Never made a video. I made an email to set up a new channel, whatever. Just never did it. I had it. I damn sure don't want to uh, edit, but now I'm just gonna learn. Plus, you're gonna meet her at some point, my um, home girl. Like I've known her since I was like 22. She's gonna help me with it. If she wants to start too. So when that come, I'll let her know. But let's get into these shoes. Um, no particular order, and I'm gonna be quite honest. I think it's a few more, but. I've waited so long to do this video. I've confused myself. I didn't clean up the house, removed stuff, changed things. That I didn't remember what shoes I showed or didn't show. I pulled one shoe out about the show and realized I watched one of my videos and I did it in my last video. So if it's something that I showed already, oh well, it don't make a difference. But first one, this is a Kobe. I'm not going to talk too much, but I'm going to get a gist. God rest his soul and his daughter. We all know the tragedy that happened with Kobe. And the most disrespectful spit in the face that happened since he's passed is all anything Kobe related spiked up in tremendous prices. I had the, uh, the Kobe uh, Los Angeles Lakers throwback, the... The blue and ba baby blue and dark blue or whatever color it is. The one that Fabulous wore in the video. I uh, traded off. I had that jersey. I didn't like the way it fit. I gave it to my brother. Brian. I got that on, I believe, either Black Friday or Father's Day. Half off. Jersey like $300. I think I got it for like 140 150 or something like that. They don't sell any Kodak. Kodak. Any Kobe Bryant products on Mitchell and Ness now. On sale, period. It's always considered exclusive. I don't care how many deals they give you. You're going to be 10% off. They had one deal this year where they're like, and as only anything exclusive was 30% off, but that was just for that one day. Other than that, never was on sale. So with these shoes, anything Kobe related is expensive as hell. I don't care what shoe it is. I was trying to get the Kobe uh, Reebok, Reebok questions. I just was taking my time. It's $50. $50 anytime you look. I think the cheapest one I've seen is $200 now, and that's like beat to all hell. So this one is a shoe I had already, and it was I sold it during the time I was trying to get my car out on child support, so I had to get rid of everything. And I always said I would get this back, and it was one of the few before he passed. I kept saying I'm going to get, but I was procrastinating. And as soon as he passed, I think I was looking at the shoe, and it was like 130 U, but it was a good condition. This one... Is the condition is terrible, and I think I paid maybe more than I might pay like 150. But the only reason I got it because I want this shoe, and I'm not gonna be able to get it in better condition for a reasonable price like this. The cheapest one is like $300, so I'm just gonna do some work to it. And I've already kind of started it. These are the uh, Kobe 8 
Easter's. I've cleaned it just a little, but the main problem is the sole. The sole is not supposed to be. This cut supposed to be like a mint color. It's like completely yellowed, and and it has it has majority of its traction. I'm not gonna really use these that much. I just wanted to get these back because I wanted my I wanted a Kobe. I don't have that many Kobe's. Um, but I want to start getting a couple shoes that I know are like super highly priced. But if you get them beat like this, they don't cause next to nothing. And I want to try to restore them. Like this type of restoration is not going to take too much of a hassle. Like all you got to do is put the C glow on the bottom. And plus it's not a clear sole, so it won't. You can do it in like one or two sessions. And I got to get me some pink laces because these don't come with pink laces. The laces in here somewhere, I don't know. But yeah, get into the next one. This one is a shoe I already had. This is a replacement box. This is not come in a box. And I got this shoe because I wanted it anyway. But I have a feeling Nike is a low. I, mean, I have a feeling Jordan Brand is going to make this in a high at some point because they did it with the red one. But um, I got it because it's... Well, I got it this quickly because I had the Air Jordan 3 UNC. But I don't know why. I guess I was just money hungry. I wore it once and I seen that the price kept going up on them and I sold them. And I'm regretting it every day because now when I try to get them back, they cost, they way out of my price range. Dead stock or reused. But I had bought some UNC Jordan shorts and um, I got the hat to match. And plus, I'm about to get the uh, UNC warm up because they mentioned that's finally released it. But I was like, I have no UNC shoes. So this one, it really didn't go for nothing in the condition. I'm shocked I got it for that. But these are the. Air Jordan 11 Low, uh, uh, UNC, I guess is what they call them. See the sole? It's dirt. On camera, it looks dirtier than what it is in person. It's not a dirty. Like, literally, all I have to do is clean this with soap and water. It's not going to be completely uh, clear, but it's going to be, it's not going to be yellow, is what I'm saying. Um, it's basically dirt. Like, because I'm looking looking at it in hand, like, it's, it's really like no yellow on it, on it at all. It might be like, no, I ain't seen it around the pods. No, it's, it's really no yellow. One. And that's why I was shocked. I got it for the price I got it for. Let me see. Yeah, this one. Let me put them together. Yeah, this one looks a little bit cleaner, but they just all they need to be is the bottom needs to be clean, pretty much. But I got I got a lot of these shoes like when summer was about to end. So I feel as though I probably won't pull these out to next summer because. Unless the only other way I wear these shoes and like the shorts that I got with them is to gym. I, mean, I, I practice with them. Gym. I mean, I'm gonna show this shoe because this shoe actually got lost in the house. Like I've had this shoe for a month, but when I was getting ready to make this video, I couldn't find it for nothing. But these are my question, and I want to thank. I don't know if it was Iverson's input or Shaq's input or just everybody in general, but whoever. I want to thank you for finally retroing the answer three. Now all we need is the answer two. They've been retroing the questions forever. They've been retroing the uh, answer one over and over again. Um, and I think they always, they always skip the two and the three, and they go to the four, the five, six, and I think they stop at the six. But more than five, one of them, I don't know. But I just know they never did the two. They never retroed the two, and they never retroed the three. Granted, I don't think the two is that popular, but the three – was always popular, at least around here. I don't know, but that shoe still look good. So I can't, I know, already know it's going to go on sale. Nobody's going to buy it. So I'm getting that shoe without a question. All the colors. And I'm, we'll just get to that later. But let's get into this shoe. Uh, this is a really bad question. I've been trying to get forever. The price just seems to never drop on it. I don't know why, because a lot of, again, a lot of people don't wear Reebok. But these are the uh, question, um, I think they call these Bubba Chucks. Now, from what I'm hearing, this shoe is based off of his love for fishing, and it was uh, the color was cooked up by oddly enough Frank Cook, because I heard, I was listening to an interview where he was talking about this shoe. Now I'm not sure is these Diaz. I think these are Diaz. I'm not sure. I thought I bought them used because the simple fact was this shoe like I I don't know if it was since it got extra laces. I didn't have that. Extra, extra gray laces don't make a difference. But, ooh, this is, this is like some hairy sweet, like hairy as hell. But this shoe, um, how can I say? Like, I don't know, but like it was a collab with, I guess, the guy Frank Cook. 
and oh, maybe it's Nice Kicks because it doesn't have the three on the back. Got the Nice Kicks symbol. I could have sworn it was Concepts. I don't know, but I know it was a collab with somebody, and like it was limited or something like that. So they went for like at least two, three hundred dollars, and I was not paying that. Like, let me show. I got some other. Ones. I don't think I ever showed these neither on camera, but I have like an Eric Emanuel. I might have showed these on camera. I don't know. Uh, Eric Emanuel's ones. These ones and those, I was like trying to uh, get these for a long time, but because these ones was going for like two, two hundred, two fifty for about six, seven months, and then I guess the price dramatically finally dropped. And I got those for like one thirty. This was the only other one I was trying to get on my watch, watch list or wish list, because the it wouldn't go into two hundred. I finally called them for like I think one fifty, one sixty. The thing was. I never can find them. so these probably is the DS I could never find a used pair of them. And whoever the people who have the DS pair, they never want to sell them for less than 200, which makes no sense because nobody's buying it. But I never see these in person, nowhere. So I only see them on GOAT and uh, Stock X, but mostly on GOAT. So I was glad I finally got those. Now, let me see. Yeah, let me do this one first. This one, this is unexpected for me because. I was never a super huge fan of this shoe, but I don't know. Like, this color where I always liked it, but it was like I never was pressed to get it. But uh, maybe two, three years ago, I tried to get, like, just buy a used pair or buy a DS pair. I thought they, I really think they go for nothing. But, like, when it comes to these select Nike basketball shoes, baseball, uh, I don't know what else you Nike sportswear. I don't know what you want. They have like they have like certain shoes that like are not that popular with sneakerheads because you know sneakers is mostly into Jordans and Yeezy and certain Jordans like the uh, the ones we want. I'm, I, that's one I think I'm going to do, and I don't think I want to do that video until I get a couple more of that style of Jordan. When they get get to it, I'll let you know. But this shoe and like a couple other shoes, the shoes I. I always had this one I always wanted but they was never sold after so I could always find them in store on sale or at the outlets or they they would like say like the Bo Jackson's I just had uh, the Ar I think it's called I still can't get the name of that college Arburn I think that's what it's called that shoe I think it was like 140 but no that's not like a real sought after shoe so it dropped down in price I think it like was on sale for like 110 or something like that and once before this release they released two times before that, which makes no sense. But the first time it, when it retroed in like 2010, 2011, something like that, I I bought it for like 100, right? And between that time and the next retro, because they retroed again, they tried to meet with like the original pair. Uh, they disappeared. You couldn't find them nowhere, and the price started going up. And I see that with a lot of shoes that a lot of people don't care about, like. The Converse Aero Jams, the original, the two original colorways, I had both of them, got it for $100 flat. Once they disappeared, they go for like $300, which I'm not paying. Any Air Jordan between the 15 to the 20, 23, around that range, it's like they're all going for 200 plus even used. But nobody likes, nobody, damn near nobody likes, except unless you're my age, likes any Jordans past the 14. So I don't get where these prices come, and people are paying it. That's what's killing me. So with this shoe, it's kind of the same thing. Like, it was another colorway of this shoe I wanted. But I, I I ain't into it no more. But this one was like, this is the original colorway, and I always wanted it, but they cost a dollar too much, and I said I'm never paying that price. And I found out they was retro them again. Why? I have no I have no clue why. But they was retro them again maybe a couple months ago. When I tell you these things sold out, they was 180 when they released. I said, are you seriously telling me these selling out when nobody cares about the shoe? And the resale, they went up to $250, 270 I'm like, bro, who's paying that for these? And people are paying it, which is like boggle me. I'm not in the streets that heavy anymore. But when I go outside or even on Instagram, I don't see nobody wearing these. So I'm I'm confused at who's paying these prices. It must be resellers or something. So I found one pair. Finally, I finally found the used pair of that, the one that just released. And I think the guy wanted 180, 190. And while I was setting up, because like my my account is linked to my credit card and my debit card, I was trying to set it up to my PayPal. When I switched it over, she was gone. It was it sold out that quick. So I ended up catching a pair, but it's like 
not of the pair that's released, maybe the pair that released two, three years ago or something like that. I don't know, but they was clean and it was only like 60. But mind you, I caught it by luck. These are the uh, Barclays. Uh, I forgot. See, I'm not really into this. I think it's called Air Max, Air Force, I think. No, Air Max either. But uh, this is the only colorway I like. I don't really like any other. It's a one other one, but that was a vinyl tech. Like, it had the foam posit material on the whole shoe was white and these four pods was red or it was blue and it was outlined in red it was supposed to resemble philadelphia's 76 colorway because he did play for them and this is i guess like a phoenix suns colorway but it has no orange in it but i don't know like i seen somebody reviewing these one one year a long time ago on youtube and i ended up liking them like the purple hit is what like i think got me because like these are a really a chunky shoe they're really heavy and they only, to me, they only look good when you wear them with certain things. So, and the crazy thing, this shoe is so clean. This is used. Of course, they tied it up like it was brand new. But it doesn't look like anybody ever wore it. Like, it has no, no heel drag, nothing. Like, the probably, only thing I see is, like, a little bit of dirt on the white pods. But other than that, this shoe is clean as hell. I'm happy as hell to have it because I just went back not too long ago to look to see if I could, I don't want another pair. But just to see, like, how much they're going for. I can't find a used pair. And when I do, they want to, uh, so I'll call this by extreme luck. This one, I ain't going to spend too much time on it because I don't think nobody cares about the shoe but me. This is my third time getting this shit. If you see this box, you already know what it is. People, young kids probably don't know. But this is uh, the Big Sean, uh, I think they Altitude. Yeah, Altitude. This was his second shoe, third colorway. He, the first one was Detroit players. I had those and I never wore them. I, I, I clearly see I only bought them because my brother, me and my brother had this rivalry going on. And he wanted them so bad I never could get them because they were never, like, the prices were never reasonable for his size. But I finally had caught a pair for, like, 180 or something. By that time, nobody wanted them. They was going for, like, $800. By that time, nobody wanted them. So I guess I was stuck with them. And I tried to wear them with a few fits. I didn't like how they looked. The ecstatic of it was nice, but just the shape of the shoe just didn't look right to me. So I ended up selling them. And then he made a black, all black gunmetal version, which I didn't like. And this was a completely different shoe. I think this might have been the last shoe he did with Adidas. And I loved it. I loved the box. It comes with the, uh, what is this called? The, the shoe bag. I keep thinking drawstring bag. Dust bag. I guess that's what they call it. To keep the dust off the shoes, whatever. But like, they said the whole shoe was resemble Hawaii because that's where he recorded I think, his first album. But I had this. Shoe. This is the third time me having this shoe. Like, let's just get into it first, people. Like, it's a great shoe. It got gold accents, which I love. Gold aglets and all that. This, this sole is what messes me up. Like, I never can tell if this sole is dirty or that's just the color of the shoe because it's not white. It's like an off white color or like a, a light, 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 light gray color. It's like egg eggshell type color. So you can't really tell if the sole is dirty or that's just the color of the sole. And it's like this, this the material is just like so soft. And I believe the inside, the inside is leather. But the first time I had these was uh, my ex had threw me a surprise birthday party and I got trashed. So bad, like I threw cake in my face. I was bugging. I seen the video and like, only thing I remember is I took these off and I kicked them across the room because I didn't want to fuck them up. But it was a, I was a drunk. I've been fucked them up. Didn't even know it. Like it was just cake all over me. I didn't feel like cleaning them because of the material, so I sold them. I got them back again a couple years later, and then again I started selling all my sneakers again that I wasn't wearing or I think I didn't need. And I don't know. I was watching somebody. I said, "Yo, I I love these shoes," and then, like I keep selling them. I said, so this time, I'm just going to keep them. I don't even care if I don't wear them. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sell them. Plus, they're, this is the last time I'm going to ever buy this shoe again because this midsole is the same midsole as like an Air Jordan 3. I think it's the Fine Line. It's not Fine Line. How do you say it? It's a weird name, but it's the material like where it's, like, it's real spongy. And then, you know, after a certain amount of time, you don't wear it. It hardens up the airflow and gets through it. And, like, it uh, disintegrate and, like, fall apart. So... That's why I said after this, I'm not buying it. But, uh, a couple of shoes, but I don't know which one to get in the fish. Which one to get in the fish. Oh, you know what I get? No, I do this one first. Because this is one nobody cares about. You see this box? If you're in the shoes, you know what it is. But this is, um, this is a weird one to me. If you look close enough, which I didn't know, 
This is literally in uh, Air Jordan 2 box, which I didn't know. They just like redesigned it with all these things. And look closer. It's a Jordan box. What messes me up about this is that the shoe inside is technically not a Jordan. He wore it in his rookie year before his sneaker was being made. Like, he wore this to hold him over until his signature shoe was done, right? So, I always, like, the, what is it, the band shoe, it's the airship. I always coincide the black and red colorway to him, which still to this day bugs me out that y'all released that shoe, but you only, to my knowledge, only released it overseas. You would think they would have boosted that colorway up like they do the band one, which he really didn't wear. He might have wore, but he didn't get, it didn't get banned, is what I'm saying. The airship got banned, right? So my question is, why didn't y'all big that up? Put that in the uh, the pack they put out. Or why not make that shoe special with like a special packaging, the storytelling, all that stuff, because that's the real shoe. Like, to be honest, that should be the lost and found. That should have been like the shoe that was lost. And when people research the, uh, like, M. Joe, M. Joe 23 Dan, because I hear he was a big part of them bringing that shoe back. He got petitions and all that. So that should have been lost and found in the sense like, that shoe history and just that shoe alone was like lost for so long. And now it finally is found. Meaning like, I didn't even know about the shoe like that. Like I'm not a super huge basketball guy, but for years, even people around me always assumed the Air Jordan 1 band or black and red bread, whatever you want to call it, was the shoe he was wearing that got banned. And so I started hearing, no, that's just, they marketed it as that so his shoe could sell. It's really the airship. That should have been your story, but I'm telling you, when it comes to Jordan, Jordan fumbles the ball all the time, and they don't care because they make their money. Like, if they was, like, release all these shoes and they wasn't making their profit back that they supposed to make, I'm pretty sure they would be on it more. But they tell half-assed stories. They start programs that don't finish them and don't even tell you why. They just stop and go to something else. The re Not to reimagine the, uh, what was it called when they put out them fours, the... That they had some type of program a couple years ago where they were like they were gonna pay attention to detail, they were gonna be better quality leather, they were gonna make the Jordan sign logo better. I just can't remember. I know it's not reimagined. That cannot be the name of it. I know I'm not tripping. But whatever. Whatever that was, they started it with like the two fours and like a couple other shoes, and then they just stopped. That's what they do all the time. That's what they're they're known for. So I don't get this one, like when I was trying to find it on GOAT and, like, on um, Star Games, I kept putting it in Nike, and it wasn't popping up. Like, it's a Nike shoe. Why is it not popping up? It makes sense. So, I know I had one on my watches. I go, look, it's an Air Jordan. I'm like, this is not a fucking Air Jordan. Like, I'm confused. Like, where's the tag? Let me see if it says it. Like, see? It doesn't even say Nike no more. It says Jordan Airship P-E-S-P. When did this become, like, the colorway? Yes, but when did the shoe become a Jordan? Like, I don't know. It's confusing to me. But, uh, all the special packaging. Uh, these was made by, I believe, a company called Perfect in Cincinnati. Now, while I'm getting the shoe out, I'm going to tell you what drew me to this shoe. I was on Instagram one day, and I'm just scrolling down my news feed, and I see some guy. He got, like, the only reason I knew the guy I don't know him personally. Okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They gave you all these goodies with it. Um, they gave you the, the airship uh, brochure. Like, you know, breaking down the shoe. Telling you, like, all the uh, inner workings of it and stuff. Oh, this is, like, an actual, like, pamphlet. Like, it's not, like, the, the three. Yeah, like, maybe I'll read it one day. I don't know. And it's funny to see this because this is, like, what <laughs> marketing was back in the 80s. Like, and then, you know, like, in the 90s, this probably would have came in color with actual pictures of the shoe and then you know now everything's on the internet and then this was like a special thank you card from corporate and the reason why you see all this tiffany because that's the color of the shoe from what i heard uh the shoe was based off of this statue if, if i show it it's this this statue was like on a uh a water fountain out, out in cincinnati and the color of the water is this teal color they said like I don't know. I'm not from Cincinnati. But um I seen this guy that I seen on one of the uh complex six complex sneaker podcast shows watching just like, oh I seen him on something. So I just happened to go through the pictures and I seen him wearing this shoe. I was like, oh my 
God, what the hell are those? And I see, I said, that's an air, and I, my, you know, I don't know how the game goes today. It's so confusing. But when I usually see stuff like that, like 10 years ago, I would think it's a PE or a sample and it's never coming out. But these days, I don't know if they're hungry for money or their sales are just not doing what they needed to do. So they'll end up releasing it at some point. But I'm so glad they did release these. These are the airships. And I love the back. I would say, got them. This release was like weird. I hate the smell of this shit. We got that new chemical smell shit. And the bottom is gray. Kind of off putting. Come with the Tiffany laces, but it's enough Tiffany on here. So I'm debating if I should put pink laces in this, but I'll be kind of overdoing it. Uh, I just, wait, where's my name? One of them got the, yeah, this one got the hang tag. It comes with a hang tag on it, too. But um, this release was weird because I didn't know when it was coming out. I was trying to find it out. Like I told her I wanted to go in, go in, um, what's the other one? SockX, but I could never find it. And I finally found it. It was going for a couple of hours. But that didn't last long because when they initially released, which was weird. You know, they're trying to beat out bots. I don't really think bots is that big of an issue anymore. Because the, the price point of retail is like crushing resale to begin with. Because retail is now resale. I was what re what retail is now. I was paying it as a resale when I was when I had a connect or when I was trying to get a shoe after it released. Like what shoe? Like one sixty, one seventy when I got back in, and I would pay the extra and it would be like two twenty, two thirty or something like that. But now shoes are starting to be released like for like two ten to two fifty, which is and that's normal. It's not like oh this is a special shoe. They want all this stuff, so we're gonna charge more. No, that's like damn near the norm now. Like Jordan's. Are retailing for you might as well say 200. I don't see too many 190 except for like maybe the ones. The ones used to be 75 dollars, which is crazy. But when I tried to get the shoe on the site, I got it in my cart and everything. But they got this thing where they're like they try to go put you through these captures so the uh they can catch the bots. But this one was weird. Like you had to find out what was the name of the shop, which I knew. Uh, where was what, what city was it in? I can do that, but I didn't know like oh. They have more than one location. Which location was the first one? I don't know that. Uh, which, uh, what was it? What was the other one? It was something specific about the shop that I didn't know. And on one hand, I get it because you want to make it fair for everybody. But I don't think that's fair because you're basically saying I have to be loyal to your your city and your store to get the shoe. Which, I don't have, you made the shoe, you could do what you want. I don't think it's pretty. I was Googling it. I went on the site. And I think it locked me out because I kept getting the answer wrong. But I felt like that was kind of messed up because there are tons of people like me. I love sneakers. I'm not a reseller. But if this was on sneakers app, I still would have bought it. If this was on Foot Locker, I would have bought it. If I walked in the store and seen it, I would have bought it. So it's not just because it's a collab and it came from y'all that I want it. So it's kind of messed up that I have to know all these things about your store in order to get the shoe. That ain't fair. But again, I think it was like a day or two later. I was on um, Instagram and I followed this thing called Sneaker Stills and it was showing like, it showed the shoes. So I clicked on it and it was like more sizes added, but I'm like, it's probably ain't that much. So I go on a site, they didn't have a 10 and a half, all that was 10. So I, was like, I think a 10 and 10 is cool. And I didn't think it was going to go through, but I went through. But the funny thing is, this is why I don't understand releases no more. I don't know if I should wait or I should hurry up before it's too late. This shoe. And the Amon Marie uh, white and maroon 12 that I got, I think I would pay for them. These, I, uh, I think they retail for like 150 160 plus shipping. We'll start shipping. Uh, these boutique shipping is ridiculous, like $20, $25. Nowadays, I go look online. These are going for under retail. I think these are going for like, like $100. Granted, you win some, you lose some, but I'm taking too many losses getting one there. Those white and maroon... And my Marie's, I think I paid two, either two fifty or two twenty five, and the uh, the shipping was twenty five dollars. So I either paid two fifty all together or two seventy five all together, which is already too much because now they're going for like one eighty, and it's pissing me off because they ate my Marie's, and majority ate my Marie's are like really sought after. They're hyped, and they come a couple of them go for resale. I know the three. I'm not too sure about the one and the two, but I know they're not like. Just sitting around, so I ain't also the same with the uh, 12. Not to mention the black and mur burgundy one was the one that nobody really cared about. Everybody wanted the white and maroon one. You couldn't, like, they were limited, 
and the black one was like general release. I believe the black one was on sneakers and on other sites, but you had to go to a memory's website or their store to get the white one. So that's why I thought, you know, it's going to be worth more money because that's what's going on now with the, the five, the white one. I like both of them, but I'm not paying that price for both of them. I can wait, but that black one is so nice, even with the white laces. But the thing is, they're treating that with how they did those white 12s. They already released the raffles and all that stuff for the white ones. But the black ones, you got to wait all these days and blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, this feels like the 12 situation all over again. So I want it, but it's not like I need it. So I'm just going to do what I should have did with these. I'm going to wait, let it release, see what happens, and take my luck. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I ain't going to lie. I'm be pissed if I don't get it. But... I want to take my chance to see if I'm going to be able to get them under retail. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Uh, and mind you, I've been trying, I'm trying to like not talk so much and just like make a short video. But the reason why is because this video was long overdue and I should have done like, you know, a video of just each shoe by itself. But the simple fact that it's been so long and a lot of information has passed, like I'm trying to condense it in one video and I'm not talking too much. I can't help it. I got to get it out. This shoe I was trying to get for me for months. Uh, this shoe been going for 200 250 for God knows long. If anybody's watching the sneaker market or staying in tune with sneakers, you know LeBron's go for nothing now. Like, absolutely nothing. Because they're overcharging retail for them. But this one is the only one I've seen in a, since, like, the South Beach that retro that they're going for a pretty penny. And I think it was because... They're not pretty penny, but they're just going for more than usual because... This was like a super limited release when they first initially released. I think they only released at uh, outlets at one one city. And then they did a, a surprisingly, they did a shock drop on Sneakers app. And I missed it like by 20 minutes when I went to go try to get a, get a pair. They didn't have no size I could fit. I was willing to get a 10, 10 and a half or 11. They had, all the biggest size they had was a 9. So I, I was even considering getting a nine and just trading it or selling it to get the money to buy this. But I said it was too much. I should have did it because it took me three months later to get this. But I wanted that shoe that bad. I was willing to wait. I think I got these for like one eighty shit. Finally, I'm, this is my like this is my favorite sneaker of a LeBron. But this colorway is based on the actual shoe I want that. We was told, like, I'm learning not to believe rumors no more, not to believe nothing of these Snickers blogs. Until I see actual photos of the shoe from Nike or LeBron says and stuff, I don't believe it. So this is the, this is the closest I'm going to get to that shoe. But these are uh, the LeBron 7. Uh, I forgot. I think they called them, yeah, Fam U. So, Riley, I don't know what state this is. I have no idea. Y'all can help me. I got the logo in there. And I've seen the guy. I forgot his name. I think it's JBS or JBC Custom, something like that. He does a lot of LeBron Customs. And I see him take these and he just kind of like switched this for the Miami logo. But um, this, ooh, that suede is just, I really want a second pair of these. But um, this is not modeled after it, but it resembles the uh, Hardwood Classic. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers where the whole where all the green at is blue and the orange is where it's supposed to be but it's like a lighter orange it's not this dark but this is like the closest I'm going to get to that because they when the seven had retro whatever year retros we was we were told we were getting the hardwood classic seven of the one I'm telling you about in December which never happened but what I think it was we did get it it just was the wrong number we got the eight the eight, because I've watched one of my old videos. I have the eight, where though it's all blue, it's basically the same colorway, it's just not the seven, it's the eight. So that's what I think they was talking about. They just said I got the number wrong, but I'm learning not to believe nothing nobody says until I actually see it. Because I believe that uh, LeBron 2 comes out this Thursday, which I can't wait. The uh, the PE of the two, the beast, I kept hearing about it, that was going to release for years. And I didn't believe it. I finally seen it on sneakers, so it's happening. And we're gonna get I'm getting the shoe, so whenever that happens, we're gonna talk about that when that shoe comes. I really wanna do a video on that one. Um what else? Oh, and shockingly we were supposed to get I mean, we still got a whole month left, but I don't I don't see it happening. We was told for the last two years we were getting a free Pebble Four uh, retro. 
it could happen because he retro a lot of stuff. I swear I didn't think he would ever retro. Last year when they said it, I thought they got it confused because we ended up getting a LeBron Fruity Pebble dunk, which is weird. And it wasn't for kids. It was for everybody. Um, so I heard it again this year that they keep saying it. And I still didn't believe it. But then they retro the LeBron for graf uh, graffiti. So I said, well, that gives me hope. That just happened like a couple months ago. So um, I'm not holding my breath. I feel as though it may release at some point. I don't think it's going to release this year. But I, I like what LeBron's doing. Um, I don't like the price point they're releasing them at. But I really feel, you know what? I'm going to shut up because I just found out that they're starting to do uh, KDs. I don't even want to go through it. It's somewhere down there. But they're, they're retroing a KD line. They're starting to do the fours. So next year, they're doing the Galaxy. And I told y'all years ago about this. And I didn't think it would ever happen. But it happened. They're, they're doing the Nerfs. Now, I'm curious if they're going to do the... Uh, the special packaging because if they don't do the special packaging i may just get them and sell my pair i have now because they are two sizes too big hell you know what? it don't even matter whether it's special package or not i still may get the shoe to have two pairs and have my extra size that's 11 and a half and i mean it's still kind of cool fitting i don't wear them that often anyway but i have no intentions on destroying it like i have the the hoop and everything still in place and i still have the receipt and everything but that's why I want to get in a video about Nike basketball with the where is it, where is it going because it's it's funny as hell to me. These last two, I did these last two last on purpose because it's the most hilarious thing to me. Um, should I do this one first? Yeah, I'll do this one first because I have a lot to say about the last one. Judging by the box, you know what this is. I'm glad they did this one up right because it deserves it. The only problem I have is they didn't do it right. But, uh, size 10 and a half, and I hate the price point. This, I have not paid, excuse me, I have not paid regular retail for a regular Jordan in so long, but I had to have these. I waited for years for these. I have the original pair of these. They're right over there in my face, but I'm not picking them up. And I wore them twice, and they fell apart on me. I'm, I mean, it's not like the three and all I'm telling you about. All that shoe needs is a re-glue. And I said, if this shoe is not coming out like they said, or it looks nothing like they said, uh, that it was supposed to look like, I'm not getting it. I'm just going to get another pair of the OGs and get them fixed. But I'm glad that they're somewhat what they're supposed to be so I can wear these and not fuck them up. So these are Air Jordan 12. Cherry. Cherry. This is the first shoe, it might be Jordan, I don't know, in a long time where... It has nothing of a smell of a new sneaker. This smell like I had this sneaker for like four months and been just balling in them. But they kind of got, kind of, they're like, I say they 80% got it right. The one, the biggest thing they didn't get right that I don't think they're ever going to get right or even going to attempt to get it right is the shape. This shape is crazy to me. Like, only reason it's crazy to me because I have the original and I had tons of original. I had the taxis. I had the uh, obsidians. Only ones I have left is the cherries. I got rid of the taxes because it was a little bit too big. They didn't need no fixing. They were cool. But um, the obsidians, I just didn't have the energy to fix both the shoes. Like, they were my size. And I just gave them to my nephew. I said, I'm just going to get, even though I don't like them, I'm going to get the, the last release of them and just wear Because I want to wear them. Like, But I feel as though with the original obsidians, I was not going to wear them like I was supposed to. But um, the thing that, because I compared them, like, this is over entirely too far. And the fact that I dibble and dabble on both sides, this looks like a fake. Like the way it's shaped and how it's put together, it looks like the fakes when I was in high school. Um, the leather is way better. I'm telling you about that. Like that leather is beautiful. Man, this camera is so bright. <laughs> but uh, the one main, the color, this is the base, this is the biggest issue for the 2009 version. I had them. I sold them strictly off the off the color. Like I like you know they got a shoe wrong if you don't have another pair or you don't have a different version of it and you can still tell that something's off. So I've never had the uh, cherries as a kid. I told you I dibbled that on both sides. I I had maybe three pairs of a fake pair when I was in um I think it was in eighth grade. Great thing I never even wore them. 
my uh, sister's baby dad had convinced me to sell them. I think I paid like 56 because back then fakes were dirt cheap and they looked terrible. It was like $56. And people, like, it was drug dealers too, big drug dealers. Bought them off for like $150. And the crazy thing is, <laughs> when they, the, the, I was riding around with them, he was like letting all the, the drug dealers look at them and like see. When they was holding them up, like trying to check them out, they look so good. I ain't gonna lie, I did have one pair where they had got the sole wrong. These pods was white. That was one thing that was always getting wrong on fakes. Um, yeah, but this was kind of, it kind of reminds me of it. Like, that was the only pair I ever had, and that color was right. But the 2009, I don't want to go deep in because I'm already talking too much. But I got the, I got it for cheap, and I basically lay away it. But when I finally got it and I wore it, I had like a, uh, and we had, me and my brother and my cousins had one out that day, so we were showing off. I had like a, they had just made the Mitchell and Ness um, Chicago Bulls full length warm ups, and I had that on with them. And I'm, I took a picture, and I'm looking at the picture, I'm like, why is that red so dark? Like it's like it's it's so dark that it's it's literally throwing me off. And I said, and the crazy thing, I'm like, maybe the OGs is that dark. I don't know. But then I started watching videos, and they started comparing them from the guys. Yo, it's like. It look almost looked maroon compared to the OJ. So that's when I got rid of it and I got the OJ. And OJ, I wasn't happy because this the shape is beautiful. Everything about that shape is beautiful. Of course, these is real metal. I still don't understand. Somebody was talking about that. Why is it they put plastic on these? They said it was a, a risk, like a injury or something like that. But somebody explained, like, you know, the next show I'm about to show you has metal ringlets on it. So why couldn't they just do with this? I don't know. But, um... I feel like this was kind of a letdown, but it's still, like, it got the color right, and what else? Uh, that's about it. Like, the shape is the only thing that throw me off. And, like, I was like, you know what? It's usually, that's how you feel when you look at the shoe like this, but when you put it on foot, it look good. It's, it looks okay, but if, when I finally fix them, uh, them 12s, the original ones, and you see them on foot compared to these, you'll see why. I, I have an idea for Nike and Jordan brand. And at this point, this is the best time for them to do it because they have nothing to lose at this point. But I'm still, I mean, overall, and everything I'm saying, I'm still glad to have these. But this is not a shoe I feel as though I will buy two pairs of because I do want a second pair. So basically, I'm not going to buy a second pair of these. I'm just going to get my OGs fixed. And hopefully, I won't beat the hell out of those. I'll just beat the hell out of these instead. Now, this last shoe. Where are we at? Because I talk too damn much. Damn, we're on 42 minutes. Jesus. But, um, size 12, which is really, um, 10 and a half. If you look at the box, you may have, and this just released not too long ago, you may have an idea of what this was. Surprisingly enough, this released on my my birthday. Comes with a little tote bag, which I truly don't know what we put in here because the shoe is not going to fit in here. But seeing this, you should know what it is. This is the Air Jordan 1. Red satin. Brand satin, whatever you want to call it. The only difference I've seen in videos from the... Because the, they did really... Oh, I hate the way these laces come now. Um, the only difference I see with this shoe compared to the previous one, the limited one that came out, that the shoe size is a regular tag like all the other shoes. But the uh, the limited one, it was actually stitched on the inner part and it had like and it was numbered. So, or that could have been just the number. Like these are not numbered at all. So I know that it had a stitching of a number right there, and I thought it was the shoe size. It might be the shoe size and whatever number the shoe was, or just the number of the shoe. Now this one was the funniest release because we all know that we thought these was gonna go through the roof. Mind you, when they, I think it was the shock drop. They did a shock drop on these. Lost, so I ain't even thinking about it. I kept it pushing. I ended up getting exclusive access on this because it was like people who lost on the, the patent leather one and get a chance to these, but I never went for the patent leather ones because I didn't like them. But hell, I wasn't complaining. I got the shoe, and lo and behold, when the shoe released, they did not sell out, which was funny to me. I'm like, granted, ones aren't that popular no more, but I've never in my life seen a bread, even like a mid, not sell out. So, I mean, well, I said, times change. It's not that big of a deal. But when, when I see these in outlets and I start seeing them on, um, like, Goat and StockX, 
under retail for a 10 and a half, a, a woman's 12, which is like the most expensive size when it comes to women, I was shocked. Like, Grant, I love this shoe, but I don't know if I need two pairs of these, but I am debating, should I just get a second pair? Sit down on ice, because I'm going to destroy these. And this is what I was talking about, the ringlets. Like, they're metal, but, you know. If I'm going, I'm definitely going to destroy these, but I don't know if I need two pairs of satins because I like them, but I don't like them to have multiple pairs. Like I have multiple pairs of the regular ones, like, yeah, multiple pairs of the Chicago's, but I don't know if I need a, like a second pair of these. But one, one twenty, one thirty. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I'm gonna shut up because I did not know I was talking that damn long. But um. I was just shocked, like, this, like, I'm taken back by a lot of this stuff, granted, I'm gonna say one thing, because everybody say, oh, sneaker market is dead, they don't know why, what's going on, they nobody buying sneakers, I feel as though it's quite simple, and I don't understand why people don't see this, for one, we're in a recession, that's number one, two, it's the price point, point three period, first of all, y'all not, rela you're not releasing dope sneakers anymore. You're basically recycling the same stuff over and over and over again. And you're recycling them for more than what they would cost the last time they came out. So, that bread I just showed you. Last time they came out, the patent leather, I believe it's the same price as 180 And before that, when I think they came out in 2016, 2015, they were like, what, 150 160 or something like that? Then when they, the band ones came out, that they came out of the outlet, they were 110 so, you see the pattern, they just keep going up and up and up. Like, you can't keep, well, you can't do whatever you want, but you can't expect to keep releasing the same shoe over and over for a higher price point and think people want to buy it in the same reverence that they did before. Doesn't happen like that. But let me shut up, get off here, and I do have more shoes coming, so I'll do a video at some point soon. See you later.